Hello everyone, this is Darwell20 and welcome to episode 78 of Darwell20's Let's Play series where guess what I found? It's a jungle! Yay! Imagine your favorite excited gif where I am literally just dancing around and excited that I found a jungle because I did! It didn't... I mean, it took a little. It took. I, I, in fact, I, this is what I like. I mean, that all over the place, just flying around like a lunatic, and then I just beelined down south. I think there is like the the biome finder or whatever, so I probably could have used that. But you know, I didn't expect. It's one of those things where like you don't expect it to be that hard, right? You're like, yeah, I'll just fly around for five minutes. I'm sure I'll bump into a jungle. No, it took like twenty, but whatever. It's all good. And hey, while I was there between episodes, uh, it happened to be night when I arrived, so I started looking around and I quickly found uh, a skeleton wearing an archaeologist hat, which is cool. So skeletons and husks drop this. I will note that the skeleton seemed to take more hits than normal skeletons, so I don't know if he had like a full suit of armor with the archaeologist hat. I don't know if it's like a separate mob spawn, but one way or another, it was a skeleton. It was wearing a hat. You saw the hat on the mob before it died, and then it died and dropped the hat. So I was, you know, pleased as punch that we got that thing so that's cool so i've got the archaeologist's hat going uh which is neato burrito uh now let's get the i think i'm probably have to repair it so a magma anvil might not be a bad idea um and i'm gonna snag this solidification chamber back now you lost your magma when i did the thing right yeah i think you did so let's get some magma blocks just so we can you know, repair this. And it's not like these things are hard to come by, right? So I'm not going to sweat. I'm probably using more than I need to use. I'm not worried about it. Uh, also remember the UIs are a little bit funny. I think there's some client server sync issues with this mod, um, but it works, I think. Yeah, look, you can see it repairing. So it's totally working, uh, which is cool, right? Totally repairing the hat. Uh, there's no specific enchants on there that I super care about, I don't think. I mean, I could probably, like, remove them if I did care. I guess it wouldn't hurt. I mean, if I'm going to use it, I might as well, you know, get those enchants off. Uh, I could still just use it to craft with, obviously, but, you know, might as well remove the enchants while we're here. Just because we can. Boom, boom, boom. Now we have a plain old boring archaeologist's hat. Nice. Looking good. So you, sir are used to make all these things except i also need for the archaeologist upgrade the chunky cheese token womp, womp, womp. uh so i need to get another one of those now if i remember um from rats we've got five of those mysterious tokens so we only need four more and that ain't too shabby so i can make that happen um i think we've got some filth we've got some balls of filth i'm gonna pop over to here and see how you're holding up buddy I think you were doing pretty good. Yeah, not bad. Not bad. Six should be more than enough if Minecraft RNG behaves itself, right? And now that we should probably be out of gravel, I guess. Uh, though in theory, you're making more gravel now? Presumably? Isn't gravel a thing that we get over here? Maybe. I don't even know. I'm lost anymore on what's what. It was so long ago, I, I, I obviously, like, you know, there's a lot of things that happens in the series, and I can, you know, forget a little bit about things. I'll shut up at some point in the past. So let's get our rats out. Um, you know, we've got a couple mob imprisonment tools. Do we have a few more of these? I like the idea of having a few more rats. So what I'm probably going to do is, is spawn a rat king, capture a bunch of rats that he throws at me, right? Maybe even capture a rat king so we can use him to farm rats. Now that sounds like a plan, right? All right, yeah, we should turn this off. I always forget. See? Things. Things and stuff. It's not that big a deal. It's just a rat. Now, can I capture you? I can! Haha, <laughs> rat king. Nice. Nice. And then we just do this thing. So now I've got a rat king, which I can use to, you know, get as many rats as I want. That sounds like a plan, right? Now I need four of the cheese tokens, right? There we go. Good times. Good times. I'll put away some of this this and and those by the way 100 percent those uh those things that's mobbing blah, 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 and that's what these guys for cool come here rats sweet ow 
What, what, what is even... Oh, what are you doing down there? Bad rat. Come here. Oh, right. Yeah. I expected that to be a thing. Doesn't matter. And that should be cool. So how do we do with rats mod thing? We've got seven mysterious tokens. Well, we got two. All right. So we got two more balls of filth. Really? Well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Uh, so I've got one rat king, obviously. I can turn a couple more rats into things. So it's all good. So let me go take care of this off camera. We'll be right back. Woohoo! Nine mysterious tokens. Hooray! That's cool. All right, so all this stuff go away now that we murderized all the rat kings that we needed to murderize. We've got an extra one, which will help us get more rats in the future. And then you can make an archaeologist's hat. Nice! All right, cool. Now let's get some cheese. Let's get one of those rats that we want to have. And we're going to start looking at um, ulterior motive. Ulterior motive. Yeah, <laughs> neat. So that's another way to get rat upgrade things. So basically what this does is it allows you to give an item to a rat and he will turn it into a Ratlantian artifact. You can't get like boss mob drops from it, right? Uh, but there are some things you can get. So you can get gems of Ratlantis. Uh, you can get some rat upgrades to a basic Ratlantian. Uh, you can you can turn you can get the pirate hat. You can get the Ratlantian spirit frame. You can get the rat toga. So basically anything uh, that you can normally get from Ratlantis only uh, can come from this, right? Which is kind of cool. Neato burrito. Hey, you can get Oric Calcum ingots for a block of diamond. Yeah, I'm probably not going to be doing that. Oh, you can actually get the arcane. Oh, that's neat from a beacon. Okay, I didn't know you could get those. That that must be a new addition. Because in previous versions you couldn't, but you can, it looks like, get all the boss things. So that's kind of cool. Ratlantian automaton head, rat glove flower. So that's neat. All right, good times. So let's designate a rat uh, feeding area. I, I, I don't know that I have anything dedicated to that, but we could. We could. Um, now I'm assuming that he can get out of this area because it's a, a bit of a tallish thing. Uh, but if I were to drop you in there and what if we, we just drop the cheese, right? I kind of forget how this works. And then eventually he'll do the heart particles. Like he slows down because he gets, you know, full, obviously. He eats all this cheese. He's going to get, you know, a little slow. See? He ain't running so fast no more. Eat all the cheese. And eventually, hearts. Hey, there we go. Woo and now he's a buddy. Look at that. I can put him on the back. You know, all the cool things. Nice. All right. So I want you on follow me as your current command. That's cool. I'm going to pick you up in the rat trap thingy. Uh, rats also has um, a bag that you can use, like a sack or something that you can use to pick up these rats, uh, which is another neat way of accomplishing holding on to them without using a different mod. Uh, let's see. Where is that? Rat sack or something like that it's called, right? Rat wheel. Oh, that's cool. Ah! Rats will spin the wheel and generate power. Of course they will. Uh, let's see. There it is. Rat sack. Nice. Just made with some cheese and some leather. Easy peasy. So I think I can just plop them down and then boop. And then we've got it. Contains one rats. Awesome. All right. So now for another rat to come out of the mob imprisonment tool. And do that again. All right, I now have two rats, which awesome, right? Boom, boom, pick up. I like how the rat sack shows, like, you know, multiple. I'm sure there's a limit to how big that gets, but yeah. So let's get a couple more of these dudes. I'm just going to get, like, two more. I'm going to do it again off camera, and we will be right back. All right, three is the number of rats that are rendered on the bag, but it says contains four rats, rat, 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 and more. <laughs> I'm assuming that if those rats were renamed, you would see, you know 
what they are. So that's cool. All right, so we've got the rat sack, we've got the rats covered. Let's do an archaeologist upgrade. So one downside to the rats is that they kind of all come out of the bag at once, but that's okay, unless there's a trick to it. Like, I don't know, shift clicking it. We'll do one at a time. You know, I don't think I don't think there's any tricks that I can imagine. Yeah, it just empties out the sack all at once. But I can pick them up and put them in the cage, so that's cool. Got that going for me, which is nice. Release three rats from cage. I don't know if it matters, but I'm gonna make sure that they're in the one with the with the heart, which should in theory mean that they're going to, you know. Actually, I don't know if they will. I didn't check their genders, but you know, there might be there might be some baby rats in our future. Tom plan. But anyway, let's get this guy upgraded to the archaeologist. Hooray! Uh, so that's cool. So we got the rat archaeologist upgrade. So you're all good. Rat upgrade basic. Rat upgrade psychic is something that we wouldn't mind. Rat upgrade basic rat lantian. So I think that this has no effects, right? So it doesn't actually do anything. What it does do um, is store itself as the base component of all other rat upgrades. Did you guys just run out of the cave? What? In the what? How did you get out of the cage? It's a cage. Its literal job is to not let you do that. Are these, are these all? Okay, cool. Yeah, no, no baby rats. <laughs> no baby rats in our future. <laughs> How did you guys get out of the cage? Maybe that explains where all my rats went. Yeah, shouldn't you guys be like in the cage? Stay here. Stay here. Hey, where are you going? Get back here. Stay here. Boop, boop, and boop. Into the cage. Deposited three rats in cage. Okay, cool. I guess they'll probably stay now because they're set to stay mode, but still. Confusing. Anyway, there's rat archaeologist. Maybe that's a bug with the rat cage. I'm not sure. Um, cool. So you're gonna, you know, follow me, and that looks good. So if I want the basic rat lantian, I can take the existing rat upgrade basic and make it into this. Now remember, this is eight pieces of cheese now, right? This is raw marbled cheese and emeralds. Clearly, four emeralds per rat upgrade is expensive compared to eight pieces of cheese. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Uh, that's the reason I wanted to get this. So I think I just dropped this on the ground. Is that right? Do you pick it up, Mr. Rat? Or do I give it to you? I feel like I'm not really sure, but we're going to figure it out together. Might be that I'm magneting it up too quickly. Hunt animals, gather items. If I put you on gather items mode, that might be cool. Yeah, I think he's doing it. Oh, look, he did it. Good job, little buddy. Now, alternatively, I might have been able to give it to you. And he'll just craft it. So if I don't want him on gather items mode, if I just want him on follow me, like that works too, right? Um, I can just do that. And that's, so this is the item that's in his hand. Um, this is his armor, I guess. So if I gave him like the toga. Toga. It says, interact on a rat to equip with the toga. Interact again to de-equip. Yeah, <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. Now, if I if I put basic rat lantian here, you're gonna have no effects. Okay, that's what I would expect. So now let's check out the psychic upgrade because that one just looked cool, right? That one looked really cool. So I need um you know a couple eyes of ender, two of you please, and then I can get two of you. Oh good, I'm out of gas tears. He said sarcastically, prismarine shards. Where can I get prismarines? I guess guardians. Is there some other like sneaky trick? Natural altar infusion. Uh, and that's about it. So thus far in the pack, it looks to me like prismarine. I can, I can use nature's aura to make prismarine from quartz if I want. And that's it. Luckily, remember last episode? Can you do me a favor and uh, chill for a minute, buddy? Remember last episode? When we were flying around looking for something that was a jungle and we failed to find that? Actually, before I go do that, I should absolutely look at my sword, which looks extremely broken. Um, let's see what we need to repair you, because it's different every time, I've noticed, right? Material, osmium ingot. Boop and boop. Nice. Used two of those, by the way. 
Cool. I bet I could make that even more OP if I wanted to. Not that it's like terribly OP, but I could make it more powerful for sure, I would think. Am I flying past my radioactive area? I am. I'm kind of curious how, how hot this area is. Still a little bit into the orange zone, some green sparkles for sure, but way better than it was before, right? So remember, your hottest point to measure from is on top. But since I was flying past here, you know, felt smart to me to, to investigate. So now one of these waypoints up in front of me somewhere is the one that's going to be the Guardians. And I think it's this orange one. So I should be able to come down here. I believe that I have infinite breath on water. Yeah, I do. Nice. I maybe should have done... You know what I should probably do before I come down here? Because it's clearly a little bit difficult to see. Maybe I'll make the night vision upgrade for this suit. I feel like that's a good time, right? So what's involved in that? Vision enhancement. Brightens the surrounding environment. I'm going to use it to see through darkness. Install multiple for more effective night vision. So we want four of you. Right? We want four of you. Shouldn't be too bad. Excellent. And I'm assuming that that is a installed in the head kind of thing, right? Ta-da! Mecha suit. Vision enhancement unit. One out of four, two out of four. Why is it in red? I don't know that answer. But it is, and that's cool. So what, um, what's the dealio? Enable, true or false. Handle mode key, true. Show and HUD, true. So is there a key I can use for this? Category, mechanism, head mode switch, maybe? Semicolon sounds like a good one. Hey, vision enhancement enabled. Cool. Cool. Oh yeah, look at that. Very much vision enhancement -y. Don't know if I love the green haze, but I wonder if that's just a virtue of the fact that it's at dusk. Um, we'll also see how it looks underwater. Yeah, I don't love the green haze. I think I'm not a big, huge fan of that. But, you know, we'll see what happens. Yeah, yeah, it's getting less and less dusky, and it's still very green hazy. I guess we'll see what underwater looks like. So we're heading out towards where the guardians should be. And they just spawn like crazy inside these temples, right? That's how it works. Yeah, you can kind of see underwater a little better, right? Yeah, hey, those those new underwater zombies. They, I feel like they are. Yeah, they totally are. The drowned. Hey, buddies. Me not knowing anything about them. I know there's new underwater zombies. See? I knew they existed. How close are we to this? Not that close. 1,800 meters? I guess I'll be right back. Yeah, I don't love... I don't love the green. Not a huge fan. Not a huge fan. Is there like a not green mode? Showing HUD true. Handle mode key true. Enabled. Options? Yeah, it's just that. I guess on the bottom right, it shows if you're in night vision mode or not. Yeah, see, it goes to on. Yeah, the green haze is super not not a fan. I'm going to have to look at some other kind of night vision-y type options. Anyway, be right back. Well, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, it works, but it's also very green still. But I mean, it's better than nothing. So we should have no problem farming these dudes. Aside from they like swimming away. Yeah, buddy. Why am I receiving damage? That's not a thing that should happen to me. I'm uber mech mode. Oh, and I do have mining fatigue three. How do I have that? What's doing that? What gave me five minutes of mining fatigue? And why am I taking damage? That's the other major question I have. How and why am I taking damage? Let's see, where's those guardians at? Can they hurt me? Oh, 
Oh yeah, no, they totally do. I wonder if it's a breathing problem. I'm gonna test this away from the Guardians, because I feel like that's drowning, even though I have the thing in here. Right? Um, enabled true, so that's good. It's definitely on. Uh, waiting for health. Let's see. So if I'm underwater for a minute, am I gonna start choking? Yeah, no, it's not it's not drowning damage that I'm taking here. It's literally guardians can for some reason hurt me. Well that's no fun. I like the disability. Oh boy, wow. That was a lot of damage there like, really fast too. What hurts that much? Is it like the boss guardian thing? I don't even know. Anyway, I'll come back in a minute after I Well, I mean I've got enough Prismarine shards for this, right? I only needed two. And crystals? Yeah, no, we have enough. Now we've even got Guardian Spikes. Nice. I should make a Guardian Charm Fragment. Yeah, that would be cool. From Reliquary? That thing makes it so Guardians can't see you, and I would probably not get hurt. Yeah, so this is the downside with the feeding apparatus. So when you never take damage, it's not as obvious, but it doesn't fill your saturation, which I like auto-feeding mods to do. I like a full saturation bar. Having a low saturation bar like this means that healing is very slow, which is a bummer. So, you know. Still trying to figure out, like, in what way am I taking damage. It's not all that clear what's hurting me right now. Oh yeah, and I should have my magnet on, which is probably helpful. I'm just used to it being on. Anyway, uh, that might be enough for now. Is there something else in here that might be hurting me? I'm just, you know, wondering. Because it's weird the way I'm taking damage. Like, Guardians don't actually directly seem to be hurting me. But maybe? I want to be ready for this in case. I mean, the mining fatigue is not helping either. And away! Yeah. <laughs> Cool. All right, so yeah, I've got this and I've got this. So that means Rat Upgrade Psychic is pretty darn close to ready. Uh, didn't I make you guys? Are you in here? Yeah, you are. Okay, Rat Upgrade Psychic. Sweet. So now I just need a Psionic Rat Brain, uh, which is the the potion thing from the Ratlantean. Didn't we get? Didn't we get one of those, or did I use it already? I remember doing another fight. I died to him, didn't I? Did I die to him? No. I don't think. What did I do? It's only one episode ago. You'd think I would remember. But yeah, one way or another, I need another uh, rat brain. Uh, so by the by, I could totally get one of these from my archaeologist rat using dragon's breath. Did I get dragon's breath when I did the dragon thing? I totally didn't. Not a big deal. I'll just fight him again. Uh, so I just need a uh, Feral Ratlantean. So let me get a Mob Imprisonment tool. I will go get a Feral Ratlantean. Actually, I have one. Good. And I will get a uh, Healing Potion thingy, and we'll be right back. All right, almost done. I've got the nine Rat Glove Flowers that I need. I also need a Feral Rat Claw, don't I? But I think that shouldn't be too hard to get. I would love to find a Feral Ratlantean, and I am not finding them. They might be nighttime-only dudes. And that might be my problem. So I might, real quick, take a nap in the night. Because remember, cross dimensions all at the same time. Um, yeah, I guess this is the best way. I mean, alternatively, I could respawn the dragon, get some dragon's breath, and do, you know, that. But I don't think I want to do that. I think I think this is the more direct approach. Maybe I'm crazy. What I don't love is every time I teleport into the Ratlandis portal, I'm facing the exit portal. So if I'm moving too quickly, I literally, like, teleport in and right back out. <laughs> Which is not, you know, not ideal. Whatever happened to those rat uh, pirate ship dudes? Like, the little ones. The little ones that, that, like, drove around in boats. You know what I'm talking about? Remember them? That was a thing, right? Am I crazy? That was probably a thing. I feel like that was a thing. All right, it's becoming nighttime. I just need my feral ratlantean. I'll pick up any more rat glove flowers. The one downside with rat glove flowers is they are actually tricky-ish to find. They're not common. They're not uncommon 
but they're very hard to notice underneath all the brush and trees and whatnot. So like the jungleness of this biome, which unfortunately is not the type of jungle biome that would spawn the archaeologist dude, so I still had to find one in the overworld, but the jungleness of this biome makes it hard to find the Rackalum petals. It's a little bit, a little bit tougher than you would think. But anyway, just need a Feral Ratlantian now, which hopefully I will notice on my map. I assume that he would be a red dot. Yes, white dots would probably be parrots and whatnot, and the, and the red dots should be a feral. These were not hard to find last time I was here. I, you know, I mean, they ain't like spirits where they're everywhere, but hey, there's a red dot. That's a spirit. Feral Ratlantian, wherefore art thou? Come on. I expected this to be less difficult. It's always weird how, and this is something obviously that, I mean, if you've played a long time, you've probably run into, but it's like when you don't want things to happen, like the spawning of a mob because you're not prepared for it, ah, they're everywhere. Ah, they're everywhere. Like gas in the nether, right? Always a gas in the nether. Hey, I need some gas tears. I'm gonna go to the nether and find gas. Never a gas to be found. Can't find a single one. Doesn't exist. Kinda how it goes all the time. Alright, I guess I'll look for this Feral Ratlantian off-camera a little bit. I was kind of hoping that this would be easier. Um, yeah, we'll be right back. Found one. Booyah. Come here, buddy. Yeah, run all you want. I got you. Sweet. Alright, now to home. I can make my Rat Glove petals into the thing that I need. How do we make the... Uh, just that. Okay, cool. Making sure there wasn't an alternate recipe that involved something or other. Oh, I do need another spirit dude. I can get that from Blaze Powder, though. This might be a quick and easy way to get that. Hey, buddy, could you uh, do, me a, do me a solid? Uh, and then Rat Claws can come from Rabbit's Foot. I don't have any Rabbit's Feet. Rip. Rabbits, I feel like, are going to be more common than the feral Ratlanteans, though. So if I just go kill a rabbit out here. Sorry, rabbits. Hey, it's not my fault. I'm assuming rabbit's foot comes from rabbits, right? I mean, that's not... That's not a wild assumption that I'm making. Am I missing something with rabbit's feet? Ten percent killed by player, affected by looting. So just bad RNG, which is you know we're used to that by now. Stop popping all over the place with your little tiny hitbox. There we go. Nice. All right, rabbit's foot that for me, would you, buddy? See? This is a cool way to do it. I like the archaeologist rat. There's some really neat things you can do. We should get, we should check out a chef rat. There's a lot of good there's a lot of good rat things, but I'm all about this. I'm all about this right here. I'm just curious what it's going to be like. All right. Quick splurt over to here. Okay. You and then I know. Hello. I don't have my arrow on me. That's okay. Come on with the levitation. Not cool. I should really trap these guys in a thing, but I'm pretty sure they have ways to get out of it if you do that. So, I mean, I've been successful trapping him before. Neo Ratlantian. Did I miss something? What happened to him? What? Explain. I know there was fire there from the lightning strikes, but you think it you think it voided his drops? All of them though? All of them though? That was weird, right? Wasn't that weird? I feel like that was weird. Okay, after another little bit of effort, I went ahead and got myself a psionic rat brain. I just had to go find another feral one and kill them off camera real fast. 
So that's cool. So uh, are we good now? I think we are. We should be ready to do this. That's cool. All right, should we go try them out? Let's do it. Let's do it up. So I should be able to take you guys, three rats, out of the cage. You guys go back in, and you, sir, are going to get this psionic rat brain. Oh, that's neat. Look at that. That is awesome. I can play with this mod literally all the time and just be a happy camper. All right, so you know what? I'm not going to have you on my head. I'm going to have you in the rat bag. Rat sack? What's it called? What's it actually called? I literally just put it in here. Yeah, rat sack. Oop. You're with me, buddy. All right, let's go find a place with mobs, and I'm going to tell you to attack mobs. I'm just curious how this goes, right? There's obviously some other funny rats that we can get, like the ratinator and whatnot. Um, but let's just go find some zombies or something to test this on. Somewhere far away from my uh, protections. Hey, that'll work. All right, buddy. Hunt animals. Hunt monsters. Sweet. Oh, look, he's summoning those little portal things. The laser things. That's cool. I think he just threw a block at them. What? He died that easily? Rip. So this is why we might need the... The rat combination thing. We need to get him, like, more ubered. I think we could make a really ridiculous mob killing rat if we combine several rat upgrades. And I think that's maybe what we'll look at next episode. So for now, Double 20 signing off. Hope you guys enjoyed the episode. We'll come back next time, combine a bunch of awesome rat upgrades to make a really uber mob killing rat just for fun. Because it's a fun mod. All right, guys. For now, take it easy.